Bulgaria's delayed entry into Schengen, the country's energy dependency on Russia and its efforts to counter the economic crisis, Prime Minister Boyko Borisov has been speaking to Euronews in an exclusive interview in the capital, Sofia. Born in 1959, Borisov set up a successful private security business before turning to politics. He was mayor of Sofia before becoming prime minister of the centre-right government. Prime Minister, the watchdog of free competition, the European Commission, started investigation into Gazprom, the Russian natural gas supplier. Is complying or not complying to fair competition in Bulgaria or not? Bulgaria was one of the EU countries most affected by the gas crisis. Back then, I was mayor of Sofia. The temperature was between 15 and 12 degrees below zero, and we spent 10 to 15 days without gas, and no one helped us. We are assisting the European Commission with its investigation into Gazprom. Bulgar Gas and Bulgar Transgas handed over all the relevant documents to the Commission a few months ago. Meanwhile, we learned our lesson. That's why we've now built a gas pipeline interconnection with Romania. The interconnection with Greece is at a very advanced stage and will be completed in a month or two. Construction work on an interconnector with Turkey and also a link to Serbia is about to start. However, the greatest source of energy diversification for Bulgaria is the oil and gas deposits in the Black Sea. I'm confident Bulgaria will successfully diversify its energy supplies within three to four years. To sharpen my question, are you still backing this European pipeline project Nabucco or is Nabucco dead or are you backing the Russian project South Stream? I haven't expected this question, but as it happens, over there on my desk there should be a map. Could you please hand it to me? This map is an answer to your question. This is Bulgaria, and here you will see how we will ensure diversification of our energy sources. Here lie the prospective gas supplies. This area will supply Bulgaria with gas. There are the greatest deposits, and there you have the Russian South Stream pipeline project. That's the Turkish TANAP pipeline and the Nabucco project, and the Asian gas coming from the Chardennes gas field will follow this route. My fingers pointing at what we're building at the moment. Why are we doing that? It's very important for me that the Turkish TANAP pipeline reaches Bulgaria and that Nabucco West and the South East Europe pipeline move closer to Europe. The other route, the Trans-Adriatic pipeline, is a link to Italy. That's why we are doing our best so that both Nabucco West and the South East Europe pipeline move ahead. Regarding the Nabucco project, Bulgaria has done all it can. The parliament approved its construction. We've signed all the documents that are required and we can start construction work tomorrow if necessary. I'm looking forward to the launch of the Nabucco project. Uh, given the fact that we are talking about geography, actually Bulgaria is very much exposed to Greece and Greek has some problem regarding economy. What are the consequences of this problem in Greece on Bulgarian economy? Greece is a good neighbor and friend. However, the EU was very harsh with Bulgaria and Romania, but was very tolerant towards Greece. And right now, we are all suffering from this tolerance. The most important thing is to meet the Maastricht criteria. They have to be respected. What has Bulgaria done so far in the past three years? We've carried out a pension reform. We've increased the retirement age and frozen pensions and salaries. Foreign debt currently stands at 14%. The budget deficit is 1.2%. Inflation is at 0%. Only Denmark and Finland have economic performances anywhere near ours. So you are ready for the European single currency, the euro, but your finance minister just said 
that Bulgaria will postpone Euro membership. Can you confirm this? While Bulgaria complies with the Maastricht criteria and along with Germany adopts the deficit reduction procedures, other countries aren't complying with these criteria. Why is that? What justifies such populism and nationalism against those who are on the right path? They should concentrate on sorting out their own financial situations instead. I expect this to materialize in the next year or two. Only then will we join the Eurozone. But I do not think it's fair for Bulgaria, the poorest of EU nations, to join the Eurozone now and pay for nations who display such lack behavior the country is not member in the Schengen area Schengen membership is postponed year after year are you starting to get angry upon this Regarding Schengen, what's good for Bulgaria is that EU member states know the Schengen border is better guarded than in their own countries. Your citizens can sleep soundly. Bulgaria's Schengen border is strictly guarded. Huge amounts of drugs are intercepted in Bulgaria. Tons of cocaine, 20 tons of hashish one day, 40 tons of cocaine another, 3 tons of cocaine the next day, hundreds of tons of narcotics, and all of this in just the course of a few months. Proof that we're not just talking, but acting to crack down on drugs. Traffickers. Nevertheless, in this last report of the European Commission, Bulgaria is very harshly criticized, saying that Bulgaria is failing to crack down efficiently on high level corruption and on organized crime. If we look at the transparency of public procurement guidelines, then Bulgaria fares much better than other European countries. Regarding criminal gangs, their bosses are either in custody or elsewhere in the world under Interpol red notice. I had a meeting with the former Prime Minister of Bulgaria and the actual opposition leader, Mr. Stanishev, and he said actually that uh, he has serious fears regarding upcoming elections, given the fact that recent local elections we saw buying of votes. He has reason to be afraid because we caught his party in Sleven doing exactly that, buying votes. Now he's thinking ahead about how he can defend himself when he loses the upcoming elections once again. Given the fact that uh, the transition period in Bulgaria was very difficult, you have a very colorful past, do you know personally people involved in organized crime? I have an excellent past record. These are inventions by Mr. Stanishev and his accomplices. All of my movements and actions are transparent and I don't depend on anyone. Merci. Thank you very much indeed, Prime Minister, for this interview.